while I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hi or hashtag replay, depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with the designer, because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And and I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. I can't forget the day we met your eyes. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Well, hello, 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 friends. How are you? It's Tuesday, and it's an awesome Tuesday. Um, I'll fill you in as we go along, but let's jump into this, you guys. So let's talk Club Couture. It is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there. Um, if you love to DIY and you love things to come to your door, you're going to love Chalk Couture and uh, Club Couture. It's $19.99 plus tax in the U.S., $26.99 plus tax in Canada, free shipping on your monthly shipment every single month. Now, when you become a Club Couture customer, first of all, as soon as you go through, add it in, you typically are prompted to add in the current month's Club Couture, which is the one I'm showing you here. Sadly, this one is sold out. There is only one way to get it, and I will tell you how it, coming up in the next few minutes. But you not only can add that, but you can add in our Kickstarter kit, which is not sold out. The Kickstarter Kickstarter kit is amazing. It comes with our gorgeous 9x12 porcelain steel Ada Magnetic Chalkboard, a two-pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a multi-tool, a three-ounce bright white chalk paste, and our 5x7 palette frame. So that's the first thing. You get access to something that's super awesome at a great price. The next thing when you join Club Couture, you have access to private sales that Chalk Couture will offer their Club Couture customers. This month is called Last Chance Love. What does that mean? Well, during the month of May, you as a Club Couture customer can shop my Last Chance section in my online store at 50% off. All items in that section for Club Couture customers are 50% off. So they are selling out too. So if you're a Club Couture customer, jump in there and grab the transfers you want. The other thing you get as a Club Couture customer is this. We offer flat rate shipping to all customers, which is awesome. An entire order will ship for $6.95 in the U.S. or $13.95 in Canada if you're not a Club Couture customer. If you are, you get bonus flat rate shipping of $4.95 in the U.S. and $9.95 in Canada. It is super amazing. 
The other thing you should know is as my Club Couture customer, you will go into my private Club Couture group where I'll make three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck. Now, if you'd like all those details sent to you, just comment Club down below and I'll make sure I message you all those details. If at any time you would like to go into my VIP group and you are not a Chalk Couture designer, just comment me down below, okay? The next thing I want to chat with you guys about is purchasing your business in a box and joining my team and launching your empire. This is our new designer kit, aka business, business in a box. It is $99 plus tax and shipping in the U.S., $129 plus tax and shipping in Canada, valued at $250 in the U.S., $350 in Canada. It comes with five three-ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12-pack of thank you cards, a 12-pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a 9x12 porcelain steel, eight a magnetic chalkboard, the Read Me, our gorgeous spring-summer catalog, six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers, and remember that Club Couture transfer that I was just telling you about that I said is sold out and there's only one way you can get it? Well, the one way that you can get it is by joining my team. You'll also get the current month's Club Couture transfer. Now, I realize I threw out a whole bunch at you, and you guys might be saying, Jess, this is all well and good, but we have got questions. No worries. I have your answers. Comment join down below, and I'll message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team. I want it to be a decision you're super happy with. Now, I want to let me throw up a little something for all our brand new friends who are joining us who have never heard of Chalk Couture before. Um, I want you guys to see what Chalk Couture is all about while I get my cameras ready. Um, behind the scenes here. What is happening? All righty. So, hello, friends. Hopefully that was good and long enough. Let me say hi to my friends that are joining. I got, hi, Sabrina and Mary and Diana and Paige and Melissa and Margaret and Melinda. Hi, Karen. Hey, Nancy. Hi, Heather Susan. Hey, Megan. Hey, Lisa Batten. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Kim Holbrook. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, George. Hi, Christy Perez. Hi, Dion. Hey, Trish. Hey, Kim. Hey, Lourdes. Hi, Anita. Hey, Georgie. Hey, Christy. Hey, Roberta. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Debbie Birmingham. Hi, Jean. Hi, Terry. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Dana. Hi, Lori. Hello, hello. So, you guys know I typically will not show something that may be sold out unless I'm in the middle of a series and it sells out, like Home of the Brave, which is due to come back in stock this week. Love You S'more, I believe, is due to come back in stock next week. And you guys, I couldn't put it off anymore. I had to do it, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay, so... We have finally been able to get someone to be able to come out to do something that we were trying to get done for February, March. But because Corona had other um, options or other ideas, we haven't had any, haven't been able to have anybody come out. But now, because it's all outdoor work, we're finally getting our patio built. So this super sweet gentleman came and delivered six pallets of our EP Henry blocks to build our patio in the outback and our fire pit. So the love you s'more only seemed like it needs to be done today because it's supposed to be done by this weekend. So I'm super excited about it. And I can't wait to make some s'mores in our fire pit, you guys. So I'm sorry. I've got to do, I got to do this transfer. And if, you know what, what's going to happen is you're going to love it. And I will just tell you, comment hashtag s'more down below. And I will let you know as soon as it comes back in stock. Okay. So we're going to do that today. I'm super excited. I've had this rustic, um, Framed chalkboard. It is not a chalk tour board. I am sorry. And it is a very old board that you probably will not even find anymore. But um, I've wanted to do this for a outdoor project for God knows how long. Okay. It's very dingy and rustic and it's going to go perfectly with our theme in our backyard. Okay. So we're going to use this today. I'm just going to quick dry the board because, well, it's all dusty because it was in that closet that I cleared out. Remember a few weeks ago, I was cleaning out my closet. So there's that. Um, oh, thanks, Dion. Hi, Tracy. Hello, hello. Hi, Trish. Hi, Karen. Hi, Lisa Cummins. Oh, thanks, Sarah. 
Hi, Rhonda. Trying to watch between grandkids. I know. I love this transfer too, George. It's a cute transfer, right, Leanne? Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Vicki Keller. How are you guys? So, um, yeah, we're going to do this today. Why is this not drying? What is happening? I know this sucker, it gets hot. There it goes. Maybe I just got to. And I'm okay with the all white looking. I want it to be like dingy. Do you know what I'm saying? This wood has seen better days and that's good because that's the way I want it to look. Okay. Just about dry here. There it goes. Now it's drying up. It's taking a little while for my dryer to dry, or my dryer to warm up, I think. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. All right, so I am only putting portions of this transfer on here, okay? I'm just I'm so excited to play with this. I've been trying to put it off, and I was like, oh, the Patriotic series things so we'll do this um oh gosh that green there the best the best hold on one second you guys what is happening here okay there it goes okay sorry i was having some major issues with um putting that out there. Let's see. There it goes. Okay, there we go. Couldn't see. Messages were popping up, so I had to get rid of them. Hi, Carolyn. How are you? Hi, Kathy Clark. Okay, let's grab our pa uh, transfer trimmers, and we're going to go ahead and cut our transfer up along the cut lines. Our transfer trimmers are absolutely awesome. They are titanium steel. They are... Um, silicone coated so that way they will not stick to the adhesive part of our transfers. They have extra long, extra sharp blades to go ahead and um, to help with cutting. And if case you slip underneath the transfer, it won't stick to it. So if you don't own any transfer trimmers, you got to get a pair because they're awesome. Okay. Our stick for roasting the marshmallows. Okay. So I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I'm not putting the love you on there. I'm just going to do s'more. And I'll probably do an S at the end or something to that effect. Um, but I think that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm like going to put roast marshmallow up at the top. I'm going to do layers. So I'm going to have to like pop this around a little, um, based on how I'm going to do it. Like I might actually do, I think I'm going to start with the s'more across the top and then we'll go from there. Oh, darn. Where's my marker? He's using it. Hi, Claudia. So glad to hear, Carolyn. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Kathleen Henry. Hi, Sandy. How are you? Long time no talk. All right, so we have s'more. We have marshmallow. Didn't have enough room to fit the whole thing on there. We've got our stick. And we've got layer two and layer three. And the, this will be the marshmallow and the chocolate. So we've got this, you guys. Let's do this. I'm super pumped. Hi, Kim Stanton. Hi, Eileen. All right. So let's go ahead. Get this off. I was contemplating putting this on one of our big hanging banners. I think it's 21 by 28. But I was like, eh, I don't think I want that. So I did not. I ended up not doing it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go with my board that I've wanted to use for our outdoors. I was going to do something with the welcome to our porch and change porch to patio. Then I was like, eh, I don't want that either. 
So I think I want my s'more sign for when we have this all done. And I talked to my brother-in-law and I'm hopeful that he can make me, I want the planner boxes that have the two by fours, I think they are in it, and the hooks so we can hang cute little hooks up. We have our shed coming that was put on order. We were able to order it finally on Friday and our pergola. So I'm so excited. It's going to be about a month and then everything should be in and it's going to be awesome. I'm so, so excited. Okay. So I just got to move this over just a little bit. That actually, you might hear a lot of that dinging. That is likely the guys coming back. Um, it's a shame because the guy um, that delivered all of the blocks, he was trying to get them into the backyard. And sad truth is our gutter, the rain spout, he couldn't get through with the forklift. So he had to drop them all right out front of my house. I'm like... Am I going to have to worry about people stealing them now? I was like, oh gosh. So there's that. Now I was considering, whoops, that's not the right color. I was considering doing a little something that McGlamma did. And she made the s'more look like the word s'more, like it was all fire-like. And I was like, oh, that might be super cute. But I'm thinking I'm going to stick classic. I don't think I'm going to pull the color in now that I look at it. I mean, I think it might be super adorable, but I don't think I'm going to do it now. So let's take away the candy apple and the orange peel. We're just going to stick with plain old white. So let's do this, shall we? Okay, get my bright white stirred up nice and yogurty like or marshmallow. Marshmallow fluff consistency. That's pretty perfect, right? You know what would be cute if I did white, the almond, and the bark? That would be super cute because then it would really look like a s'more. Should I do that? White, almond, bark? What do you guys think? Tell me what you think if you would like to see that. Okay. Tell me, tell me. Way too long, Sandy. Hi, Vicky Hunter. Let me know what you guys think. I think it would be cute if I ombre the bright white the almond and the bark. Tell me what you think. I'm going to wait just a sec because I know we have a kind of a big delay. Yes, that would be cute. Yes, almond and bark. Got it. We're going to do it since I've got two yeses. Okay. We got this, you guys. We got this. Let's not get the lids all messed up here. Yes. Okay, good. I'm getting lots and lots of yeses. Lots and lots of yeses. Okay. Okay. So good. And almond's going to be back in stock next week. I apologize if you guys saw all my posts yesterday about, oh my gosh, it might be, it's retiring. That's what it said. And now it's saying it's back in stock. So maybe... Once it does come back in stock, maybe we're getting rid of it. I don't know. I got to I got to ask and I keep forgetting to. All right. So, let's do this. Let me get some small squeeze. I can't reach. Okay. Okay. Don't be drippy. I like when you're drippy, but I don't need you drippy right now. Start off, we'll have the majority of our S is going to be I just got to move quickly is all.
态。Just going to dip my finger in and pull these colors together to ombre it. And then what I'll do is I'll do the same thing between the almond and the bright white using another finger, of course. Okay, let's get all that excess off from up here and then over here and down here. All right, let's do chalk and pull, guys. So we're going to pull that back. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, wait one sec. There it goes. Look how good the s'more looks. I love it. That looks perfect. You guys, on point here. Looks like a s'more. I love it. All right, so... Pop that back down for a sec and let me think how I want to do it. I think I want to put, really just, hold on. Let's put them over there. Okay, so I think what I want to do is, go over this way. I think I'm going to do roast a marshmallow up here. Roast a marshmallow, layer a mar layer down below and then enjoy off to the side is what I think I want to do. So let's make sure there's enough room. I just want to make sure this is totally dry because some spots look a little wet still. Get up there. Oh, you didn't like it, Kate? Oh no! Hi Sarah, hi Georgie. Yes. Are you going to make the marshmallows look like they have burnt? I am. I'm gonna. Happy Tuesday, Laura. Hi, Debbie Adams. Thanks, George. Thanks, guys. Making you hungry. Tell me about it, Kate. I was like, oh, I'm going to eat some lunch before I do it. And then I was like, no, I just want to talk. So, you know, thanks, Rhonda. Hi, Dion and Mary. How are you guys doing on YouTube? All right. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do roast a marshmallow right like this. And I'm going to put the marshmallow above it. That's what I think I want to do. Do I have enough room? I should probably put the marshmallows. Oh, come on. Get out of the way. Hold on, you guys. I need to make some room. I'm, I'm getting super... Oh, I got to move to the... Please bright white don't fall off oh the gods of chalk paste don't let it happen I feel like I want to do it like this and I'll put a marshmallow up there I could even do these two marshmallows over there okay so I'm gonna do I'm wondering, what do you guys think? Should I do all of the words in bright white or the bigger words? Should I ombre them like I did with the word s'more? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? You tell me. I think what I want to do is ombre again the same way. So roast, layer, and enjoy, I would do that way. I think that would be cute. Do you guys agree? I think, I think so. I think I'm going to go on. I'm going with it. So let's do this. Oh gosh. I'm going to put a little bit, a little heavier on this. So that way I've got some room to make a little bit of a mess here.
gosh, don't go into it. I need a little bit more almond in this area though. Okay, let's see if I do this. What if I do these? Gosh, do I have chalky fingers? Oh my goodness. Okay. Where's the bright light? Oh, heck yes. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Oh, I had a piece of something stuck in the A. What a dope. Okay. Now, so now that we have that back down, let's put that there. And let's do our awesome marshmallows. Oh, they're going to look so good. Okay. I'm so glad you guys like it. Hi, Julie Fox. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to do a lot of white with some bark edges to make it look like it is a roasted marshmallow. Whoa, way too much. And then we're going to even do some in the center to make it have a little bit of a roasty, toasty look. I know I like my marshmallows totally burnt. Just saying. I don't know how you guys like them, but that's the way we like them in my house. <gasps> Would you not love to just tear apart those marshmallows? <gasps> they look so good. They look good enough to eat, you guys. Oh, no. Hold on. We're going to have some issues, Houston. Hold on. Huh. Get that ruler out of the way. What do you guys think? Do you guys love them? Oh, shoot. I'm getting chalk paste all over. Okay. Now, let's do the chocolate part. Uh-oh. Eek. Oh my gosh, just tell me that's all dry. Shoot. Hold on, you guys. It's not fully dry yet. Hey, Kathy. Ah. <laughs> are you guys loving it? Hold on. I got to like put this here for a sec because my fingers are so chalk pasted up. I can't even scroll on my computer to see comments. Doesn't it look so good, you guys? Yes, burn them. Oh, I love them burned. I love them ooey gooey. Hold on. Let me just get this all off my fingers. This is such great tactile play. If you have a child that has, you know, tactile stimulation, you know, like Little Bram was on the spectrum and we had to go through a lot of 
OT and PT for him, and they used to have him put his fingers in all types of This is great for kiddos that have that. I'm just saying, just so you guys know, if you, you know, some chalk play, if you will. Okay, so we've got that. Now, let's go on and let's do our layer of chocolate. I think what I want to do is layer right here. I think I'm going to do the chocolate off on this side because it's kind of too tiny to go anywhere else, to be honest. I mean, it's too big to really go where I was hoping. Come on. Come on, surface. Give me a little help here. It's because it's on a slant. And I'm trying to get it to go this way. I probably have to. have to get the area around it to stick down that's the issue and it's a bigger area of screen and I'm in a corner okay guess what we're gonna go with it we're gonna go with it just like this if we have a little bump it's fine it's fine all right let's get our chocolate on don't mess with it just you're asking for it I had a little bleed right there, but, oh, sorry, you guys didn't even see that. I had a little bleed right there, right here in the corner. I'm not worried about it, and you shouldn't be either. We're going to clean it up. It's going to be good as new. Okay, watch. I'm going to grab, hmm. okay, I'm going to grab one of my Q-tips. You guys have heard me say I've been loving the Swispers because they've got the pointy end. So I just wet it a little bit, let it soak up that water and come in here and we can get it right off. Not a big deal at all. See? Cleaned up. Good as new. Right? Um, let's get the water off the board. All righty. Let's make sure that it's good and dry. It's looking good enough to eat, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Eek. All right. Now, let's do the words layer. I'm thinking what I want to do is I could do layer right here. I'm thinking I'm going to do it like kind of sort of off to the side, like a little bit of an angle. Like, I think that might look fun, right? Whoops. Hold on. I don't want to go over the chocolate, though. Okay. 
Will that be too big of a opening? Hmm. I'm wondering if maybe I should have done layer in the corner. No, you know what? I'm going to do it off to the side. Because you know why? I can do... I can do like this. Yeah, and then I can do enjoy over there and we'll figure out how to put the little sandwich because that has got to be. Actually, we may not even do enjoy. We might just do layer. What if I did it like this? Hold on. What if I do it just like this? Right? Move it down a little more. And then we have room to put the fun little marshmallow um, thingy. Uh, I mean, the s'more, the actual s'more. Oh, yes. I think we're good. We're golden. We're golden. All right. So where's my squeegees? Kind to make sure that stays down and that stays down. How did I manage to get brown on there? Okay, and then let's do our ombre again. Well, shucks. That's not the word I wanted to say, but that's what came out there. Because I just dropped the lid. Grand. Okay. Shoot. Get a little white here. Oops, hold on. Guys, that looks so good. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let me pop that over here. And let me clean my fingers off. Oh my goodness. Isn't it though, you guys? It's looking so good, you guys. I was super worried about the room as well, but I think we're going to make it happen. Got some bark right there that's got to come off. Where's my Q-tip? And then we'll try it. And then we're going to get our little sandwich right in here. And we're gonna, um, maybe get the stick across. I don't know. We'll do something. Oh, it's going to be so cute. So, so cute. You guys. Oh my gosh. All right, hold on. This is getting to be huge. All right, I got to shove it this way a little bit. I have to be careful about how far I push back with my chalk paste since they are all opened. And we don't want another little situation like we just had with my almond lid, right? There we go. 
That way you guys can see. All right, come on, baby. You got to fit. Oh, man. We'll go whatever way we have to to make this fit. We're going to make it happen, I'm telling you. I am telling you that. Yes, we're going to make it fit. All right, so for our graham cracker, I'm going to mix almond and bark together. Okay, I need a color tray. Hi, Lise. Hi, Steph. Thanks, Jean. Hi, Pat. Thanks, guys, over on YouTube. All right, so let's get some almonds. And some bark. Oh. And another little stir stick. Let's mix this up. There we go. Whoops. That looks like the perfect color of a graham cracker to me. Do you guys think? I think, I hope you guys are going to say yes, because I really do feel like I'm capturing the essence of a graham cracker right here. Make sure that I push out all of those air bubbles. Might be a little difficult when it comes to layering, but I'm all right. I'm up for the challenge, you guys. I am up for this. I got to make that chalk paste work. Uh-oh. Had a little bubble there, you guys. It's okay. We're going to make it work. Come on, I need just a little bit more. Oh, we had some bubbles. Ugh. Oh, but you can't really even tell. There's just a few little spots. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. <gasps> ah, I love it. Okay, hold on. I gotta put that down somewhere. Get where I have my little bubble. I'm being brazen doing this while it's still all wet. Looks so good. That for sure looks like a graham cracker to me. And then we're gonna pop some marshmallows. I might do another little piece of chocolate up in the corner, some more marshmallows, maybe just another little chocolate chunk. We're going to mess with this. Don't you worry. It's going to be so good. Okay. Let's get this down for now. And then, like I said, I'll go back for, uh oh, hold on you guys. I can't fit through here. Yikes. <laughs> hold on. Gotta put it down like this for now. We get, we we may not be able to do the word enjoy, and I'm okay with that. Ow. All right, so that's layer three. This is layer two. <laughs> the essence of a graham cracker, you guys. Yes. All right, let's let our board come back to room temp. We gotta go ahead and fuzz our marshmallow layer. Oh wait, is this? Yeah, this is the marshmallow layer and then the chocolate would be the ooey gooey, right? <coughs> so we're gonna do the same thing. Okay. Now it's gonna be a little difficult to get it in where I need it to be because of how I 
move the transfer. I actually just might go mostly white with this part. Maybe a little almond in, the, in it. Yeah, I'll do a little almond to make it look a little toasty. Won't do too much though. Just a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna probably do it with my fingers again. Maybe a little bit of bark, just a little bit. Just like drops, subtle. Not crazy hard. If that does not look like marshmallow, I don't know what to tell you guys. I think that is on point. Yes. Let's try this little puppy. Okay. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Kat. Thanks, guys. It's white, almond, and bark. A mixture of all three. Now we're going to come in with just the bark for the chocolate. Oh, no, Lisa. I grabbed them the, when I went to the supermarket the last time because they had it out. I was like, oh, I'm getting these. I'm getting everything for a s'mores bar. And they even had um, a Hershey's s'mores basket. So you could put them in and put them over the fire and roast everything. Like I was like, oh, way to go, Hershey's. I, I applaud you. All right. So let's see. Oh, boy. I'm thinking it's supposed to go like this. I think that's going to be the way. All right, so let's do. Because. And we'll go like this because I got a lot of color onto my. Take your time peeling it back. Oh my gosh. Amazing. It's amazing. Do you guys see this? Amazing. Thank you, Chalk Couture, for making me look like a pro. S'mores pie. Oh, that's so good. We actually have done that before we roast the marshmallows. And the chocolate in a pan in the oven. Like we call it a s'mores dip. Oh my gosh. But it is so messy to clean up. So messy. You should glue. Stick. Becky, say again what you're trying to say. I don't understand. I'm so sorry. Have you ever substituted Keebler fudge stripe cookies for the... What? Robin, no. I'm going to have to try that. She's Robin said, have you ever substituted Keebler fudge stripe cookies for the graham crackers and chocolate when making s'mores? It's less messy and less components. Brilliant. 
You are brilliant, my friend. You should know that. Okay, so we're gonna add on, oh, that's definitely not dry. We're gonna add on some more roasted marshmallows and some more chocolate, okay? So we're gonna do, I'm gonna put another, like two little bars of chocolate here and I'm gonna do this super cute little marshmallow up here, this little guy, who's just so adorable and perfect for this little space that we've got. So perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and let's do this. Glue sticks on it with white on the tips. Good thinking. Actually, hold on. Oh, where did I put them? Hold on. I got, hold on, you guys. Wait. Oh, bummer. I had gotten extra, I had gotten glue sticks that were different colors, but none of them are white. Womp, womp. And it won't come out white. It'll come out funky looking. I'm going to see if I can do part of the stick around here, George. I don't know if it's going to fit, but I'm going to try it out. And I'm debating on if I want to do two more marshmallows or just one. I think I'm going to just put one up here because we don't need to have the whole thing covered up. Okay. Let's get a little bit more white. And I kind of am thinking I want to do this guy just... All in white. Unless you think we should match him. What do we think? I can do some almond along the edges. And then some more bark up in there. Do like some shadowing, if you will. Hold on. Hi, <laughs> he's starting to be a little marshmallow, a little toasty guy. He was starting to. There we go. There we go. Oh, I was planning on putting little, I'll show you what I have for the side of the board. I see what you guys are saying. Oh, oh, I, I'm already ahead of you guys. Hold tight. Hold tight. You're skipping ahead. All right, hold on. I bled a little. I think it's because I keep going really close to the edge and it's not sticking down right. It's causing a bubble and I'm getting too impatient. Why did I not try this first? Okay. Yes, Becky, I see what you're saying. All right, wait, hold on. I got you. I got you. I got you. Hold on. Wait till you see. Okay. So I think I'll do another little chocolate layer right there. But... You guys, <laughs> of course I'm going to make it three-dimensional, okay? I got this little campfire playset, right? And what my thought was, was to add these guys to the sides. Do you see? Oh, you can't see the other side. Hold on, it's too small. And I was even thinking if I didn't put, oh, he's too big. Maybe I should have put it over where the, oh God, did I dry that? I don't remember if I dried it. I was thinking maybe if I, I could cut that tag off. Maybe I should cover up that little guy and put that up there. And I was thinking we could do something like this. If I didn't put the chocolate and we can make it like a little 3D board. What do you guys think? 
I'm going to give it a sec. I'm going to give it one second. And I could put a piece of the stick through here. We do have a stick in it. We have this. So I could put a portion of the stick through this. What do you guys think about that? We're a little behind on the comments, I can see. Hi, Deborah Mae Jones. Thanks. Yes, Darla. Yep, just like that. What do you think? Do you guys love it? Do we like the idea of this, the little fire up there? And I could cover up the marshmallow? I think it would be super cute. You guys like it? No fire, really? Oh, I really like the fire. Okay. Do we like the fire where I have it? I really love the fire there. I think it's so cute. You guys keep saying no fire. Okay. So take the fire out and just stick with the sticks. We could do that. I don't have to have the fire. Maybe I could. I'll put the fire. You know what? I'll save this for a tear tray. That's what we'll do. Perfect, you guys. I'll save it for a tear tray. Okay, you got it. You got it. You got it. I got it. I got you loud and clear. All right, so I likely will only put a portion of the stick. Ugh. Actually, I'm not going to do the stick at all. I'm not because I feel like it's too much and there's sticks there. Stop it, Robin. I'm going to be 3,000 pounds. <laughs> Another s'mores hack. Substitute a Reese peanut butter cup for the chocolate bar. My favorite way to eat s'mores. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> no, I'm fire. All right, good. Yes. Got it. Fire's out of it. I got it. I got it. Oh, now Brenda says yes to the fire. Yes. Okay. All right, let's hot glue this puppy on. And then guess what, you guys? We're done. Or you know what? Should I just, should I use just some glue sticks? What do we think? Just some glue dots? No, you know what? We're going to have to hot glue it on. We're going to have to hot glue it on. We're going to hot glue this cutie on. And I'll do this because I don't want to keep you guys on to do this part. But how adorable does this, did this turn out? Do you guys love it? I freaking adore it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I got to move this up a little more. Move that like that. And lay it on top. So that way you can read all of the words. I think it's so cute. Make the marshmallows on the stick look toasted. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Yes. It will, if I like push hard enough, it'll come off. I probably won't reuse this board. This is probably going to just be a one time. I'm going to seal it because it's going to be outside. And we get in New Jersey, we get rain that comes from out of flipping nowhere. <laughs> so in case, um, just in case. All right. So you guys want me to look like, make the marshmallows look like they're roasted too? Okay. Watch this. Let's dirty them up while we wait for. Now, just FYI, you guys can get these now at my favorite store in my favorite section. Um, they were there. Okay. I'm going to use my favorite little dirty and trick that you guys know I love. And we're going to dirty up our marshmallows to make it look like they're roasted. Roasty and toasty. Roasted. What do you guys think? It's it's a little, it's subtle. Oh wait, hold on, I can't really. See, it's on there compared to this one. So, yeah, there we go. That's the way to do it. 
The colors you have on the board so well with the fire takes away from it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yay. How freaking cute is that? Yes. Oh, I know. Steph, I am seeing your comment. Yes, our fire pit is getting built. It'll be done by this weekend. I'm so excited. The guy delivered six pallets of the E.P. Henry box because our patio is going to be gigantic. It's like 20 by 40, maybe 20, 24 by 40. It's crazy. It's going to be like my whole backyard, which is great because I can't stand grass. I would only like seagrass. Oh, I'm going a little heavier on the bottom of this one. Oh, it looks roasted. Let's do the same thing on this one. So, so good. Now, this transfer will be in back in stock. I believe it's next week or the week of June the 1st. I can't remember. I just looked at it, too, a little bit ago. So if you want me to let you know when this transfer comes back in stock, comment. Um... Hashtag s'more down below so I can find you to tag you in my VIP group. Ah, Becky, you're so sweet. In that case, you can add enjoy on the frame on the bottom. I totally could. Totally could. It'll be super cute. All right, we got to let that go just another minute. I might as well just keep you guys on while I finish it up. I think it'll be so cute. And then for my tier tray that I'll do. So I've got this tray. Where did it go? Here it is. I got this little tear tray from my favorite place in the whole wide world. You all know it. And I'm going to put the little graham crackers and the little, um, where's it at? The graham crackers and the chocolate. Look, while we wait for this to go, let me pull these all out. Hmm. So cute. We'll put all of these in it, right? And then where we have our s'mores bar, we'll do this. If I would have been able to grab another package of these, I totally would have made this as a auction item. Darn it. I wish I was thinking and I wasn't. Oh, here's the DPCI if you guys need it. DPCI for that store, 234-291086. If you're going to do it, do it soon because I don't know if it's part of the new release or if it's been out. No word yet, Leanne. Um, they are still June. That's all we know is June. Yes. Oh, thanks, Dion. It's a size E, Mary Beth. It's huge. Charlene Henry, hold on. Uh, Mary Beth, or anybody who's followed me for a while, can you say what my favorite store and my favorite section of that store is so people know? Do you mind to do that for me? You'll find out, Charlene. Hold tight. Hold tight. All right, so yeah, like what I think I'm going to do is like do the little fire with the wood up in the, up in the top because I think these little wood pieces will fit perfectly if I layer them a certain way in a certain kind of way and then put the little fire there right it will be so cute and then I could do the little graham crackers on the outside maybe I'll hot glue them on and then I could do a little sign that says enjoy on the front of that well, that's what we're doing I'm so glad I just answered my own you guys have had this I've had this piece for a while we're gonna do enjoy right now on there so hold tight let's get this on first okay so let's maybe glue this piece on first. Ouch. Hot glue. God, I can tell I haven't eaten yet because I can't stop shaking. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got that. And then we could just do enjoy off to the side or we could do, oh, no, 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 that's right. We're not doing it on this board. What am I thinking? Hold on, you guys. Ta, I'm having a, a brain fart for a sec. Let's put this to the side while it dries. Ouch. Let's grab my transfer back. And we'll do enjoy and make s'more. Please say this fits. Please, 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 please fit. Please fit. Oh, it's a little small. It's a little small, but that's okay. Um, the surface is a little bit teeny tiny for this. Actually, if I tilt it just like that, I can do enjoy and make and I'll move the s'more over. Wait, how crooked is that? To get it to all fit. Uh, you know what? We're going to test it out. If it doesn't look right, then big deal. I will just paint the piece over and redo it again. I'm not worried. I'm going to test it out. And I, what I should have done was the exact same way I did the surface, but I wasn't thinking. My board. Darn it. I should have ombre it, but I got too excited. Darn it. Sometimes I just forget things, you guys. Okay, watch this. Hopefully this is going to look right. Oh my gosh, it did. Oh my goodness, it actually worked. All right, watch. We're going to do a make s'more right next to make. Yes, Georgie, send me the picture you did, girl. Okay, ready? It is fabric, Vicky. Thank you, Dion, for saying where my, and thank you, Vicky and Kathy. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Mary Beth. Thank you, Becky. Thanks, Lisa. You guys are awesome. Hi, Denise. Me too, Delian. It's my favorite. Hi, Shannon Reed should all put enjoy the frame itself on the bottom since you're not reusing it i probably could too hey mama disney thank you i could do i could probably do it on the bottom of the frame as well i think i'm just concentrating on this part because oh this is going to be hard to see hold on oh boy this it's gonna be a little tough ow sorry guys i did not mean to crack right into you i apologize And this is going to be my downfall, you guys. Oh, wait. Hold on. You know what's fun? I can see the shadow through. I think that's right where it's going to go. I think that's going to be right where it's got to go. Except I moved it too much of an angle. Hold on. All right, we just got to go with it because I can't really see. I'm guesstimating if I'm even even. So we're just going to go with it. Like I said, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. No big deal. I'm just hoping that it does. Please say it did. Please, 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 please. <gasps> Other than my bleed on the R, which you can't even tell. Ah, yes, it worked. Yay, yay, yay. It worked, it worked, it worked. I'll take it. Hello. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, okay. Put that down there. All right, you guys, hold on. I just got to get my chalk paste dry, um, cleaned up because otherwise it's going to be a chunky flipping mess. <gasps> I'm 
Don't you fall on there. Okay. One. Two. Let me just grab my almond lid, and then once I have everything closed up, we'll pull the tear tray back up since I had a little bit of a hard time anyway with it. Where did the lid go? If I was a lid, where would I have fallen? Hold on. Darn it. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. That was convenient. Super convenient. Okay, all chalk paste is closed up. Now we can come back to this. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Shut this up. Okay. Let's get our tiered tray. And what I'll do is... Oh my God, it is even the perfect width, you guys. Look at that. I'll buy another one. I'm not worried. Okay, actually, you know what? We're going to use glue dots because... Well, or mag let's see if magnetic strips will work. Hold on. If I could quit shaking, that would be... So good. Oh, Becky, I'm happy to help, girl. Hold on. I know you guys may not see me pulling the magnet pieces from down below, but I promise that's what I'm doing. Hot down. Okay. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so cute. So we've got our little sign on. Oh, turns out there it goes. Okay, so what I will likely do is on the top, I will make my little, I don't know, I'll do something with these little pieces. And I need to get some fake little marshmallows somehow since I used my sticks. But I'll do my little fire, right? And the wood. I kind of want to make the fire stand like right in the middle of it somehow. But I'll do the fire and I'll get some little marshmallows. And down on the bottom, remember I had like um, all those little mason jars? I'll do the little mason jars and I'll put them down on the bottom of this. Oh, it's going to be so precious, you guys. So, so precious. So we got our enjoy and make some more. Want some magnets. All right, let me hold this up for you, for you guys to see fully now. Okay. Hold on. Let me grab it. Oh, oh my gosh, please don't knock over everything over here. Ah, hold on. Okay. Oh, <laughs> look how cute that turned out. <gasps> Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. Thanks, Jan. All right, you guys, that's all I've got for you today. Um, oh my goodness, so fun.
So if you would like to go into my VIP group and you are not a chalk shirt designer, comment me down below. If you'd like the details on joining my team and purchasing your business in a box, but you want to hear all the details about it, comment join down below. And if you need all the details messaged over to you about Club Couture, comment club down below. Um, dirty up fire so color's not bright. You got it, Vicki. I will do that. Yes, I know. I should go and get another package. And what I'll do is... <coughs> excuse me, I'll, um, I'll do, I'll go get another package of these when I can and pull off the chocolate off the marshmallows. How fun would that be? All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my project today. I thank you so much for sticking around with me. If you have any questions at all, let me know down below. Otherwise I'll be back tomorrow with another fun project. Bye you guys. I'm trying to say goodbye, but my switcher won't move. There it goes. Bye guys.